Welcome to QT Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the brine corrosion. Description of damage Widespread or localized pitting, occurring on the surface of equipment exposed to aqueous solutions of dissolved salts, typically, a chloride or other halide salt. It is often present with other mechanisms such as oxygen corrosion, galvanic corrosion, and microbiologically influenced corrosion. In chloride brine corrosion of stainless steels, pits are initiated where chlorides break down the passive layer. Affected materials Carbon steel, alloy steel, or stainless steel, with carbon steel, being the most common material exposed to brine solution. Aluminum alloys, are also susceptible to, brine corrosion. Nickel chromium molybdenum alloys, have improved resistance to, brine corrosion. Copper alloys are generally more resistant to pitting in brine solutions than stainless steel and carbon steel. Fiber reinforced plastic piping is immune to this damage mechanism. Critical factors Corrosion rates increase with increasing temperature, oxygen, and salt content, and decreasing pH and the corrosion becoming more aggressive in more acidic solutions. High velocity can contribute to erosion corrosion, especially if particulates are present. However stagnant conditions can also exacerbate corrosion, by allowing accumulation of deposits. The chloride pitting and crevice corrosion resistance of stainless steels and higher alloy iron nickel chromium alloys is quantified by the pitting resistance equivalent number as per the below equation. Generally, a pitting resistance equivalent number of 40 or higher is considered necessary to resist corrosion in aerated seawater in ambient conditions the presence of free chlorine above approximately 0.5 parts per million increases seawater corrosion rates of carbon steel and stainless steel in both stagnant and flowing conditions the presence of hydrogen sulfide can accelerate attack. Affected units or equipment Crude distillation unit desalters and desalter effluent systems Salt dryers for water removal from final product Seawater systems, fire water Water softener regeneration systems Appearance or morphology of damage For carbon steel Heavy scaling and possible tubercles since the mechanism Is typically a result of chlorides or other anions Accelerating oxygen pitting Removal of the scale reveals under deposit type Corrosion and large, wide pits with corrosion rates observed up to 60 mils per year. For stainless steel, sharp, deep, isolated pits are typical of chloride pitting and crevice corrosion of stainless steel. Chloride stress corrosion cracking is also possible depending on the temperature.
Prevention, Mitigation Sources of dissolved oxygen should be identified and eliminated. Heat exchangers should be operated to prevent vaporization or precipitation of deposits. Upgrading to a more corrosion-resistant alloy such as a nickel-chromium-molybdenum alloy or to a non-metallic such as fiber-reinforced plastic or polyvinyl chloride PVC, can help mitigate corrosion. Low residual chlorine levels should be maintained when treating for prevention of microbiologically influenced corrosion. Internal coatings can provide some protection to carbon steel for this type of service. Inspection and monitoring. Dissolved oxygen content should be monitored. Corrosion coupons or electric resistance probes can assist in determining short and long-term corrosion rates. Permanently mounted thickness monitoring sensors can be used. UT, including UT scanning, can be used for external, opposite side thickness measurements. Guided wave testing can be used for screening long pipe runs to identify areas for local follow-up measurements. But it may not detect isolated pitting. Related Mechanisms Microbiologically Influenced Corrosion Erosion Erosion Corrosion Chloride Stress Corrosion Cracking Cooling water corrosion Galvanic corrosion Concentration cell corrosion Oxygenated water corrosion Summary Description Widespread or localized pitting occurring on the surface of equipment exposed to aqueous solutions of dissolved salts typically a chloride or other halide salt temperature range operating temperature affected metallurgy carbon and low alloy steels stainless steel aluminum alloys prevention Sources of dissolved oxygen should be identified and eliminated. Upgrading to nickel-chromium-molybdenum alloy or to FRP or PVC. Internal coatings. Inspection methods. Dissolved oxygen content should be monitored. Corrosion coupons or electric resistance probes. UTRT and GWT. Practice time. Question number one. Which of the following materials are immune to brine corrosion? Answer is D. Question number two. Brine corrosion is usually observed as Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.